what is up with the Innovative Marine 40 gallon here. I've done a pretty horrible job at updating you guys on its status. Don't worry, everything is alive and beautiful and kicking it. However, there are some nuisance algae situations that I'm gonna go over. It's been kind of a little bit of a headache, but you know, at least the SPS are doing good. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to talk about some really, really exciting plans. You don't wanna miss it. This is, this is big news. Big news, big plans are coming to this channel. Now, before I go on and ramble, let's go over this tank update. Okay, so a little story time is required to properly update y'all on the status of my tank. So when I first started this 40 gallon, my dear mother added Xenia to my tank because she thought it would be cute or something. It ended up attaching to the rock in a way that made it super difficult to cut, like it wedged itself in there. And long story short, it's been an uphill battle trying to keep this coral in check. Recently, it has grown out a lot, as you can see. Right after I ended up taking this video, I ended up removing what I thought was all of it, but this uh, this led to some bad things happening, okay? Removing all of the Xenia here at once was probably not the best idea, guys, okay? It was keeping my phosphate and nitrate in check, so after I removed it all, you can only imagine things got a little bit wild. Bubble algae everywhere. I mean everywhere. You couldn't even see my sand y'all. Like it was nuts. Okay. Since then I've done several removal operations just so I don't shock the system but it's going to take some time to get all of this out. It's looking so much better though even though my snail is more bubble algae than snail. I mean it's looking a lot better. But just when you thought just when you thought it couldn't get more annoying. Okay I have hella aptasia from a frag I got. So there's that. I mean, it's absolutely everywhere. It's absolutely everywhere. And it makes me want to cry. You know, since it's so out of control, I decided to add some Burgia. Burgia? Burgia nudies. As per inappropriate reefers recommendations, shout out to him. I added like eight of them, which is probably overkill in hindsight. But either way, it's going to take a while to remove it all of these guys. You know, gotta wait until you know they start spawning and whatnot so <laughs> there's gonna be you know some aptasia in this tank for a while you know I feared aptasia takeover since starting this hobby and you know what it's just as awful as I imagined it to be I'm so angry actually that from now on I plan to turn the old biocube tank in my office into a coral quarantine tank okay I'm not taking any chances moving forward pests are not fun I am just happy I learned my lesson with Aptasia and not some kind of like acro eating flatworms because man. ain't nobody got time for that. Anyway, my fishes are doing well though. You know, Gobi Wan is uh, an old fish now. He's just chilling. And Holstein, my little black storm, is growing like crazy crazy. He's so dignified and elegant when he swims, I swear. He is the cutest little clown ever. He, he's definitely one bougie clownfish. Holstein's, Holstein's definitely the looker. Definitely the looker. You know, my corals are doing well though. Despite everything that has gone wrong, my SPS has still managed to grow somehow. Monty Cap has taken over this entire ledge almost completely. Kind of regret my choice there. <laughs> I kind of regret my choice there now a little bit, but um, you know what? It's beautiful. So um, it can stay for now. And you know, my SPS, a lot of, a lot of little, Little nub growth. Seeing on the SPS, it's growing real, real tall. Gotta turn my radions up a notch so hopefully they start branching out or something. Bubble is still a monster and a half. It's seriously about to outgrow my tank completely. You know, luckily it's in a good flow spot though, so it can't really attack anything, but it's troubling how big this thing can get. I mean, it just will not stop. Freaking bubble monster, okay? I, ugh. And, uh, you know, I'm also starting to fall in love with the Duncan. Um, uh, I hated this thing. I really, this was not, this was not a coral that I was particularly fond of, but you know what? It's actually starting to grow on me. And you know, hammers are happy. Hammer garden 
has uh, Hammer Garden has grown twice in size. They're kind of annoyed in this video, but the but the little Hammer Garden is definitely kicking it. They're definitely kicking it, you know, looking beautiful. But yo, yo, the Zoas finally grew in, y'all. They look so beautiful. If you can get past all of the Aptasia. But yeah, overall, the tank is shockingly thriving, you know, despite all odds, like for real. You know, maybe there's some hope for me yet. So the exciting news that I really wanted to share with y'all is that I'm getting a new tank. I mean, yeah. I'm getting a new tank and it's gonna be a really, really big deal. I am so excited to share it with y'all and get this thing set up, get this thing cycled. This is like significantly bigger than any kind of aquarium I've ever owned. The reasons why I've been hunting around for a bigger tank for a while now is because this, this bad boy behind me filled up way too fast for my liking. It took a year and a half for this thing to be ready, at least to my comfort level, to add SPS, right? And now it's almost, it's almost all filled up, right? What am I gonna, <laughs> by the time I get another tank cycled, I'm just gonna be staring at it. And like, I, <laughs> that's not what gets me excited about this hobby. I always need to be hands on. <laughs> alive okay so I knew I needed to get a, a, a bigger tank you know hopefully a significantly bigger tank I was thinking like initially in the 150 200 gallon range much bigger than this little 40 gallon that I've been working up to until this point I also wanted a rimless tank because I think rimless tanks are just I mean they're so sexy so sleek look at that they're just clean they're clean cut you know, and that gave me, that really narrowed down my options. So I asked you guys on my Instagram account, what is your dream build? You know, and a lot of you guys recommended water box. So I've been checking them out. I've been checking them out and they've been on my list for a good while in terms of a new build. And luckily water box helped me make that dream a reality way sooner. I am so excited right now because I'm getting a water box 220 <laughs> reef pro y'all. I'm getting, I'm getting a water box 220. 220. Okay, that's, that's insane. Whoa, like that's a lot of gallonage here, much more than I'm used to. So exciting for me because, you know, I've never had a sump, I've never had a sump, I've never had a skimmer, like a full-size skimmer. Full-size skimmer, I've never had a full-size skimmer, a sump, a refugium, none of it. Like, am I truly a reefer? <laughs> You know, probably not. So this is gonna be a super fun experience for me to play around with different equipment, have, you know, play around with that whole area down there. I mean, we're gonna level up. We're gonna level up the reefing game here. The fish possibilities are wild, okay? I've only been able to keep like clownfish and like goby. What fish options can you really have in a 40 gallon aquarium? Not many. Having this new build is going to be so awesome just for the fish alone. I mean, not only the area you get to play with in terms of the aquascaping, ooh, which I'll get to next, we can finally add some cool fish. I really want like a copper band. Copper bands are beautiful. Uh, copper bands, like a naso tang, and you know, even a gem tang, you know, for the clout. In terms of the aquascape, I really wanna do something different, okay? I wanna do something really different. I wanna create that bonsai minimalist scape that I kind of did with this tang, but better, okay, but better. It's gonna be so sexy. I've learned so many aquascaping tricks and tips since I set this aquascape up. I'm really excited to share that with you. And since you guys really love my aquascaping video that I featured a lot of those minimalistic scape designs, I really want to show you the process of how I actually make this. This is going to be our tank. We're going to build it together. In terms of coral, I am torn. I'm torn because I love SPS and, you know, I love SPS so much, but I also want a lot of movement in the tank. So I'm definitely gonna go mixed reef, definitely gonna go mixed reef, you know, SPS on top and a lot of movement on bottom. I'm thinking to maybe like have less SPS dominant, like I did with this kind of tank, make this maybe like all SPS to account for my stick addiction. But with the new tank, I definitely want a lot of movement, a lot of color. And you know what? I don't wanna get so like caught up on particular corals that are in or whatever. Like. I just, I really wanna make a tank that 
recreates the natural reef as much as possible. I am so excited right now. It's surreal. It hasn't even really sunken in that I'm getting a new tank. I mean, this is crazy, y'all. Stay tuned. I'm going to document all of this, okay, all of the process. It's arriving soon, so I better figure out... <laughs> what I'm gonna do with this thing, where I'm gonna put it. Whoa, okay. Can't wait to share it with you guys. We're gonna go on a journey here on this channel, so make sure you hit subscribe now to keep up with that. I'm giving a sump. Congrats on the new tank. We're gonna be water box buddies. Like, like Eskimo buddies, but, but with aquariums. And, uh, no, no, probably not. You know, I typically leave my house looking like a stray cat. Uh, it's, it's a vibe. This was exactly my dilemma when I was making that video. I brainstormed and recorded and re-recorded. And, you know, for the life of me, I just could not reinvent the nitrogen cycle. It's almost like it's one of those things in nature that always stays the same or something. And Abdel, I've been trying to tell everyone this for months. Thank you so much for recognizing my potential. Like, share, smash that subscribe, get notified. We love reef.